how the F-22 is built. The F-22 Raptor stands as one of the most powerful additions to the United States collection of military fighter aircraft, known for its stealth capabilities. Having said that, here is how the F-22 was built, the Lockheed Martin F-22. Raptor is considered a revolutionary fifth-generation stealth fighter aircraft that emerged from the Advanced Tactical Fighter ATF initiative. This exceptional aircraft outrivals every other jet in air dominance and is also equipped to handle ground attack, electronic warfare, and signals intelligence missions. The ATF program was initiated in 1981 when the U.S. Air Force identified the necessity of phasing out its aging F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon fighter aircraft in favor of a more technologically advanced fighter jet. Despite the F-22's first flight in 1997, a full eight years after, to its actual deployment, it didn't become operational until December 2005. Originally, the U.S. Air Force intended to get 750 F-22s, but financial limitations in 2009 resulted in a reduction to just 187. Nonetheless, this fifth-generation fighter included a pair of Pratt and Whitney engines that could be serviced with just six tools readily available from any general hardware store. It also incorporated an internal weapons bay to minimize aerodynamic drag and had radar features like those of a bumblebee, making it difficult to detect. And this is exactly what was needed to rival the developing Soviet fighter jets. We will give you the detailed specs of this aircraft in detail. In the early 1980s, the Soviet Union had already created two fighter aircraft as a response to the U.S. Air Force's F-15 Eagle and F-16 Fighting Falcon. This situation necessitated the development of a combat system by the U.S. Air Force that could not only counter the Soviet Su-27 Flanker and MiG-29 Fulcrum, but could also effectively engage with the next wave of enemy fighters. The result of the Air Force's efforts was a groundbreaking aerial platform that set new standards in sophistication and lethality. The F-22, a collaborative endeavor between aerospace giants Boeing and Lockheed Martin, was a remarkable creation unlike anything previously witnessed. It boasted impressive features, including a super cruising speed of 1.8 Mach without the need for afterburners, a maximum speed of Mach 2, a combat radius spanning 600 nautical miles, and an endurance capability of 8 hours. Moreover, the F-22 achieved an exceptional level of stealth, in part due to its storage of a diverse array of weapons in three internal bays. This design choice eliminated the radar reflection associated with externally mounted weapons, ensuring that the F-22 maintained its stealth while carrying a substantial payload. Additionally, its state-of-the-art electronic warfare system and integrated avionics enabled pilots to accurately target their air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and bombs. One of the most remarkable aspects of the F-22 was its thrust vectoring system, which gave it extraordinary agility during aerial combat. The nozzles on its paired engines could redirect the aircraft's substantial 70,000 pounds of thrust in different directions, allowing it to execute nearly physics-defying tricks as it pierced through the skies. To be very intricate, as already mentioned, the Lockheed Martin F-22 Raptor's design integrated stealth technology and sensor fusion, resulting in a formidable platform for anti-aircraft operations. It could achieve speeds exceeding Mach 2 with afterburners and Mach 1.8 at military power, providing high cruise speeds and operational altitudes. These capabilities enhance the effectiveness of its sensor and weapon systems while improving its survivability against ground-based defenses. The F-22's integrated avionics system utilized sensor fusion to analyze information from both onboard and external sensors. This greatly improved the pilot's awareness of the situation while decreasing their workload. Additionally, the radar and electronic warfare system further enhanced the F-22's ability to detect and identify threats. The aircraft could seamlessly transmit data to other planes through a range of communication systems. In the updated version within the cockpit of the F-22, one could find a modern glass cockpit equipped with entirely digital flight instruments and a monochrome heads-up display. The pilot manages the aircraft using a side stick controller that responds to pressure along with throttles and an integrated control panel. The life support system includes an onboard oxygen generation system and specialized pilot attire designed to provide protection in various combat scenarios. The aircraft also boasts three internal weapons bays, each equipped with storage and launch systems capable of accommodating both beyond visual range and short range missiles. 
Additionally, the F-22 came with an internally mounted M61A2 Vulcan 20mm rotary cannon. While its primary design was for air-to-air -air combat, the F-22 could also perform limited air-to-surface missions by substituting four main bay launchers with two bomb racks. Despite apparent high-tech feature, the U.S. stopped this fighter jet's production. The United States has held a position as the dominant force in stealth aircraft technology, and it was committed to keeping that status when the F-22 became operational in 2005. As a result, the Raptor was not created for export or lending to foreign nations, including even U.S. allies. At a certain point, the Department of Defense sought to develop an exportable model, but congressional approval for such a version was not granted. It's also worth highlighting that the F-22 was introduced into service during a period when the United States was engaged in two conflicts against enemies who were not operating aircraft that would necessitate the use of a fifth-generation air superiority fighter. Since selling the F-22 was not a viable option, the Department of Defense didn't speculate a significant demand for the 750 units it had initially ordered. Consequently, in 2009, that order was reduced to 186. In the meantime, the Department of Defense redirected its attention to its latest fifth-generation fighter, the F-35, which was designed to serve multiple roles. These roles included acting as an Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance ISR, Asset and Battle Manager, as well as carrying out tasks in air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground support, and electronic warfare operations. Moreover, Lockheed adapted a significant portion of the infrastructure that was originally used for F-22 production to manufacture the F-35. This means that reinitiating the production of the F-22 would be an excessively costly mission for an aging aircraft. However, despite the end of F-22 production, the aircraft is still a component of the Air Force's active fleet and will continue to be in service until Congress formally authorizes its retirement. Despite its exceptional technology, the F-22 faced a unique challenge. It lacked an enemy. By 1997, the Soviet Union had evolved into the Commonwealth of Independent States, and U.S.-Russia relations were relatively cordial. Additionally, China was six years away from starting its peaceful rise. Furthermore, the F-22's cutting-edge technologies and classified features resulted in its removal from export due to U.S. federal laws. Even though countries like Australia, Japan, and Israel expressed interest, the F-22 was not made available for foreign procurement, leading these nations to primarily opt for the F-35. The production of the F-22 came to a halt in 2011 officially, with a total of 187 aircraft manufactured. This decision was influenced by rising costs, the perceived limited relevance of the F-22 in counterinsurgency warfare, and increasing support for the more cost-effective F-35. The U.S. Air Force chose to redirect its efforts towards implementing ongoing upgrades to its existing fleet to maintain their modernization. It's essential to note that while the aging F-22 is still considered advanced, it lacked many of the latest technologies found in newer aircraft. Retrofitting these older fighters with new technology would not only be prohibitively expensive, but could also potentially have adverse effects on their performance. Nevertheless, the F-22 continues to stand out as one of the most advanced aerial platforms globally. People from military leaders to journalists and every type of politician in between often draw comparisons between the F-22 and the top performing fighter jets in Russia or China. The challenge, however, lies in the fact that the F-22 was significantly ahead of its time. The collapse of the Iron Curtain occurred before the F-22 became operational, which meant that the Soviet MiG and Sukhoi fighters it was initially designed to combat were no longer a substantial enough threat to justify its existence. Furthermore, as the possibility of large-scale warfare reemerges, the F-22's integrated avionics have become too outdated to seamlessly integrate with the Air Force's modern network communication and data sharing systems. However, despite encountering initial operational hurdles, the F-22 has emerged as a crucial component in the USAF's tactical air power resources. Its expertise in stealth, aerodynamics, and advanced mission systems has established a benchmark for its era. Anticipated to remain in service until at least the 2030s, the F-22 will eventually be succeeded by the next-generation air dominance, NGAD, fighter.